Good morning, viewers! I'm Phil. We've been playing Oxen Free Part 1. Check it out. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of... Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Uh, I guess Yeah, she... I, um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush. But she's dropping us off and then doing a, uh, miscount on the way back. So we can spend the night. But to be clear, you two are what to each other? I think you're overthinking it. Am I? Um, stepbrother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned pot- Ah! Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we... Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. 
Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... Jonas, come on. I vouched for you sight unseen, and you're already acting super weird. And I appreciate the voucher, I do, and I'm not trying to seem weird. I just want two minutes alone, that's it. All right, but... <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. No, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just... What did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. I mean, not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist, and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard... Um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back... It's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102. Point Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? War is hell. <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting with Satan or dinosaurs or something. only submarine casualty. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the U.S. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Man, they 
close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament Hello, or kids. something. No, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're... No way. Come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, God. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think... Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Just uh, leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, uh, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son. So, domino effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> We took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Oh. I get it, I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, 
Normally, this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear... Oh, his... man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it... Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. Oh, liar! Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it, you can practically... He, you told me you liked her. Why did you even try to cover... You knew I knew, I'm standing right here. Because I asked you to be cool about it, and now you're being like... Whatever the complete opposite of cool is. Hot! But in a bad way. All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. This really doesn't. <laughs> and it's not even my birthday. Yeah, everything's coming up, Alex. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, she's full of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snorissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Do well, you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... let's not stop like this. We should... Game's like... over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. 
Maybe we could. And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we? What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you wanna check out the caves, or...? Uh, in a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot, we never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... They went to that weird carnival. <laughs> How'd he even get Jenny out of the house? <laughs> I don't know. So, what happened? They just... It was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks, and they, like, she wanted something, like, a named thing? Oh, God. Yeah, like, like a, some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. And they basically got kicked out, so they didn't even get to see any of, like, the stuff. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Of course that's how it went. When was the last time you were here? Uh... A year, two, two years ago. Really? Yeah, it's been a while. But whatever. Island living, huh? Uh, yep. Look, I'm sorry about all that drama over nothing. No, nah, it's fine. Um, how are you doing? Fine. I've known Clarissa long enough that she needs to go really deep into her bag of tricks to tick me off. <laughs> Good. I, uh, didn't realize our cell phones wouldn't work on the island. Kind of promised my dad I'd call him. He never used to be this, uh, needy, but since my mom died, he's kind of shortened the leash on me a bit. He's gonna be kind of pissed. Not a good way to start the move, huh? Yeah, I should have warned you. The technology here, I think they just got, like, mechanical pens, so... Oh, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna write him a text, so in case I wander into a couple of bars or something, he might get it. Let's hop this thing and check in with Run. All right, let's do it. Come on, I'll push you over. Whenever you're ready. Unless... So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> all right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal, anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's true! Kind of. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the game? I mean, okay, fine. Fun is fun. It's a game called Truth or Slap, Ren. It's supposed to be a goof. I thought you'd laugh. Why would I laugh at that? It really sucked, actually. Just get over it, man. She's gonna forget all about it by tomorrow morning. Jonas, you think she's just gonna forget about it? Yeah, that type of thing never sticks. <laughs> sure. Okay. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. 
Those look like brownies. Brownie town. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is this... how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Kind of. I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. It sounds. like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think. Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Monkey's out of the bottle, man. You are high as a kite. Holy crap. Anyways, I'm Phil, and that was part one of Oxen Free. Buy it now on Steam. And stay tuned on Saturday Morning Gaming for more videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.